Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in this video we are going to discuss about how to do the wave function analysis test and why we do this, what is the, like, you know, when we have to do the calculation for the stability of wave function, okay. So uh, I have taken one molecule over here, I will show you just, just this is just an example, okay. <coughs> Okay, so this is one uh, molecule, okay, this is the ground state of this molecule. So what I have done, uh, I have just done the geometry optimization of this molecule using uh, hybrid TFT functional, ether wave. And, uh, if you don't know how to do the geometry optimization of molecule, you can see in the description box, the link will be there. You just follow how to do the geometry optimization. So once you do the geometry optimization of any molecule, and now go to the MOS. So in MOS you can see that this uh, LUMO and HOMO. If I will find out the gap between HOMO and LUMO. So the HOMO and LUMO gap is around uh, minus 0 0.12. 5 to zero point four five three nine. So this is in the hatchery. I will convert into the EV multiplied by twenty seven point two one zero nine. That is the conversion factor from hatchery to EV. So if in EV I will see this is the roughly around point six EV. The homo lumo gap between this. The homo is the A1, this is the homo and the lumo is B2. So the difference between homo lumo, that energy difference or the homo lumo gap is 0.6 EV roughly. So this is very less, right? So what is the possibility when you are calculating your ground state energy, that electron, electron can go to the excited state also because the gap is very less. So in this case, you will be having some static correlation uh, kind of problem will be there. So whatever energy you are getting in this case will be like not the minima and your a wave function may not be stable. So in those cases, uh, I'll, I'll recommend you to do the wave function analysis test, okay, when you're having a very less homolumo gap. Now, since I have done this calculation, fine. Now what I'll do is, I'll take the output geometry of this molecule. How to take the output geometry of this molecule? Go. This is the output file, right? Open this output file, in notepad or notepad++, plus plus, whatever uh, software you are having it and go down at the uh, step where it uh, everything is converged the geometry optimization process is over go there okay yeah so at this step your geometry optimization like criteria is converged and your molecule is optimized okay now go down They will give you one standard orientation of your molecule. This is the input and they will give you the output standard orientation of your molecule. Use that for the further calculation. Okay, this is the standard orientation. Okay, copy this geometry and use for further calculation for the wave function analysis test. Okay, now you know that your molecule is uh, having some static correlation problem and you need to work it out. So what you can do is take the output uh, coordinates for that molecule and do the wave function test how to do that for uh, doing that use this keyword so use this keyword since we are now uh, see in the earlier way neutral molecule we were doing the restricted calculation for the closed cell system right but now since we are uh, looking for the stability so we have to see See, if we can mix it, in the case of singlet, what will happen that uh, normal neutral singlet, you'll be having uh, that electron will be filled, right? But when the gap is very less, so that electron can go to the excited state or the LUMO also. So there will be one electron in the HOMO, one electron in the LUMO, okay? And so if we are doing the stability test and we are like um, including this also in your calculation, so what will happen, your, uh, you know, geometry, uh, energy of your system may go down so for that you have to use the uh, this uh, if you are using the b3 lip or any method 
we have to use the unrestricted method okay if you are using the restricted method that is for the closed cell system but here you have to use the open cell system and for that's the reason i, I am using here u b3 lip earlier i have used r b3 lip that was the restricted and here i have used u b3 lip now and you have to give the keyword stable so it will take that geometry and it will find out whether your uh, now once you have given this input do the calculation once your calculation is over you can see that this is the output file of that uh, after uh, the stability test i will show you how it looks like so once you have done the geometry of uh, this uh, stability test what you can see is yeah come in the mid somewhere and you can find that the wave function has an internal instability okay means the wave function that was used to calculate the energy of the system was not stable now means your molecule is having some problem if your this wave function is stable no need to do anything it's okay you can go with it but if you are getting this kind of uh, instability you have to make uh, another guess to have a stable wave function so in that case what we have to do is take the output geometry from the neutral one the earlier one that we have taken okay same geometry coordinates will be there but the keywords will be changed this time so now the keywords will be so this time you need to use the keywords as uh, stable equals to opt means now you have to optimize your molecule using this opt and need to find out this stable wave function using the u3 lib uh, this ub3 lib and also you have to put the guess equals to mix guess equals to mix is used to um, it will mix your homo and lumo and will try to find out the minima or the minimum energy for your uh, system okay so use this uh, keywords to find out the stable wave function once you have submitted this job of the calculation you will get this output file right open this output file and if you get the minima or the your wave function is minimum i'll show you what kind of message you will be getting and what you should get it So similarly, you have to proceed for the calculation to do this wave function analysis test. And if there is a instability in your molecule, you have to do this procedure. Okay. Where is that? We come in here somewhere a bit. so in the output file at the mid somewhere you will be getting this kind of uh, stability analysis using this matrix so there down you can see that the wave function is stable under the perturbation consideration and the wave function is already stable so you should get this message once you are getting this means the system has calculated the new wave function and the energetic whatever is there is the minima and your system is now okay and now you can use this energy to compare okay so what happens suppose you are doing some kind of uh, singlet and triplet or excited state calculation these things are common okay so just make sure you are doing this wave function analysis test and generally make a habit of having like whenever you see this uh, very minimal homolumo gap in your molecule make sure you are doing this stability test most of the time it is not required because in a closed cell system generally there, there may not be any you know wave functional in the stability but there are the cases when the homolumo gap is uh, substantial very low in those cases you will be having this kind of static correlation issues and either uh, you have to work with the work with it, okay so thank you for watching the video if you have any doubt put in the comment section and thank you for making thousand subscribers for my channel like subscribe and share my channel if you have any doubts put in the comment section thank you